Hey everybody, welcome to Birch Quality Commentaries. I'm Shank02 and I'm here with Dr. John Reborn. And welcome to part 15 of Sonic Generations! Yup. Yup. AKA what I like to call the light edition. <laughs> An episode for a change because. Well, let's just say I decide to stop screwing around with too many transitions in this and... Yeah. <laughs> let's just say I just decide to peacefully just cut out some of my failures here because Jesus Christ did I... Ay, ay, ay. Let's just say the rustiness did... It once again show its nasty marks when I was recording this so I just thought I decided to spare the viewers and just got it all out. <laughs> now uh we're And in case you were wondering what we're doing a boss run this time and in now. In case you were wondering what the hell I'm uh what were you saying? Uh we're doing a boss run now aren't we? Yep. And here I'm just digging around once again trying to to remember where the hell Pothead is. The porcupine. The pothead porcupine is because I have a short term memory, it seems. <laughs> and there he is. Ah, uh, Quentin Flynn. So let's take down this one chapter that quite frankly shouldn't be here, but ha is now canon thanks to this game. Thank you so much. <laughs> Say God, thank you so much for Sonic Team. Also, really? A fake? God damn it. Do you actually have anything inside that skull of yours, or is it just go is it just that freaking in quill hair to I fault oh, there is. I think he suffered brain damage when Shadow kicked him in Sonic 06. Oh, what do you know? You actually said the name of the game that you previously said should never be speaking of. Huh, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I, I, I said I was going yeah, to play it again, there. but uh, like I have seen cutscenes from it, that's where I remember a few things from. Ah yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and I don't know if you see it there, but I did just a little no, transition there because this is the successful run on the boss fight because Jesus Christ, for some reason I failed Give way up. too many times with this or just took a little bit too long simply because I had forgotten how this fight works partially so <laughs> I just decided to cut out all the failures and go with the one that actually ended up being some sort of a result for God's sake but generally speaking this is actually a pretty enjoyable mini boss fight and definitely should be the one that should have been in that <laughs> oh, sir, that Sonic game instead of <laughs> what we got. Uh, but, uh, uh, true fact, like, I don't know if you know about this, but uh, the guy who does the voice of Silver here, he does the voice of Raiden from Metal Gear's Solid series, and Axel from the Kingdom Hearts series. Give up! Wait, what? Uh, Why are you shooting me? Yeah, I'm serious, like, he does the voice of, uh, Raiden and Axel. I never knew that, so it's... Is this really the same guy it is? Not so... Well, then again, that could be due to credit for good voice acting time, but... I don't hear either one of those characters in this, so... What's it that? Well, yeah, you got him here, like, with Raiden, like, uh, in Metal Gear Rising, he had that more bloodthirsty voice later on in the game, he's like, I'm Jack the Ripper, and I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> um, well, yeah, okay, granted, he, that character does have a pretty, the, the, uh, I don't know, should I say grumpy voice, but it's, yeah, it is, kind of. So, it's probably no wonder why I could it here in this one, but, wow, never really knew that. He, he also did the voice of, um, oh, son of a bitch. Oh, what's, what's his name? The, he's one of the summoners from Final Fantasy X. 
Uh, the guy with the two brothers, the summoner with the two brothers as his guardians. I can't remember his uh, name. Ah, that, uh... Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I... Summoner <laughs> on top of my tongue. I know, I know what the you're meaning, but, uh, hold on. It's, uh... Here we are, just enjoying the Indiana Jones moment. That's what it is. It's Isaac. Yeah, that's it. Isaac. <laughs> dead. And here's so can join his little Indiana Jones spin off. Da 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 da. Yup. And <laughs> I swear to God, sometimes that that lock on just likes to dick with dick with me in this boss fight because I seem to be getting pretty close to. Sh the freaking silver here, but for some reason, even when I try to do the dash, yeah. it just doesn't register. I don't know, is it just some sort of a glitch, or is it just really nitpicky on how close you should be in relation to silver? There we go. Because see, there it worked, so... And silver just made his own grave. Yup, quite literally in this case. But yeah, pretty enjoyable. Enjoyable boss fight. And Silver got served. <laughs> yup. And we got the Chaos Emerald. Mm-hmm. So, that's we. That now we are done with Mr. Major. Major Blood. Major Blood Hole. In terms of continuity, and now on to the main boss. With this rocking too. Hmm. I am the Eggman, and I got the master plan. I. I don't know about you, but I just really freaking love that theme song. I don't know why, it's just catchy. pretty catchy to me. <laughs> well, okay, I don't know if catchy the right word, but I don't know, it just stuck with me the right way. And once again... Oh, Mocha! I don't know could you tell, but... And I had to once again cut out my failures because this particular bad bastard decided to like to take way too many bot shots at me during this boss fight in my previous attempt, so. Hmm. Generally speaking, a Dragoon fight this uh I don't know, I'm Kinda in between the two that this can be a pretty enjoyable for Eggman fight or then it can be a little bit annoying. It depends on how well you got down the pattern and such. Yeah. You would have fun trying to play this on hard mode, this boss battle. <laughs> oh is it is it like faster on the harder? Yeah, or, or somewhat more faster pattern. Not oh. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, then I can imagine, imagine that being a bit of a problem. Um, it's due... I think it's... Pre this was, if I recall correctly, the part where he seemed to got a little bit too many bot shots at me because... I think I'm right about where the... The sideways section ends, he shoots one last ice perk and the camera just decides to at the very last second tilt back to the yeah, yeah. back view on Sonic so that kinda F'd up does the it does screwing me over a couple of times. Like there! <laughs> if you don't if you don't time that jump correctly, that last one is going to hit you and... I've also noticed that Eggman... When Eggman hits, he takes away a lot of freaking rings, so potentially you... Could... You could potentially, depending on how many rings you can probably take... 
provide two, three hits, and after that you are pretty much screwed. Yeah. Uh, I think he takes about 20 rings off. I'm not sure. I I I, I wasn't counting rings when you when you got hit. Because I think that started with um, Shadow the Hedgehog game. I think. What? Uh, you know, sh the game Shadow the Hedgehog? Yeah? Yeah, I, I think that's when the whole, you know, if you get hit, you lose 20 rings or something damage started then. So, from back then, and I'm sure it's just like one hit, you lose all your rings. Not bad. I see. I wouldn't know that because I haven't played Shadow the Hedgehog, although I've kind of been interesting to just... If not for anything else, just simply because of how much shit people seem to keep give up on the game. <laughs> Seriously, I think, based upon what I'm here, I've been hearing Shadow the Hedgehog is almost as hated, if not, but more hated than the... One Sonic game that should never be spoken of. No, I don't think you got it as much hate as Sonic 06. That's saying a lot. Oh god, Eggman. Eggman? When will you learn that saying the same fucking line 20 times in a fucking row does not make it a freaking Cool. <laughs> or the fact and that you're signaling good. your opponent that you are about to use a certain move on them. Yep. <laughs> but seriously, if you wanna have a drinking game where you can like get hammered in a nanosecond, just take a shot every time Ekman says Time for a chase of face in this boss fight. You will <laughs> seriously be hammered in it real fast. Ooh, I can't believe this. I was supposed to beat you this Wait, time. Wait, if Eggman's here uh, sorry, and if memo. Dr. Robotnik got kidnapped time. at the end of Sonic no, 2, then why is he still here? Time. It's like it's our job or something. What's Eggman even doing here? Yeah. I thought you said uh, well, not to spoil anything, but this is well. I guess this sort of serves as a what the hell is actually going on. No, because well, okay, I'm not gonna get into that because <laughs> I just say, although it is somewhat understandable plot point, let's just say that if we go into the technique. Hell at this, good lord, lord, I think my head would explode because time travel is such a bitch plot device if you ask me. <laughs> There's so many goddamn plot holes that would need to be built in order to it to make any sense. <laughs> but anywho, took down Eggman one more time and we got the last Chaos Emerald. Got a trophy for that, and normally this would pretty much mean that in the next episode we would be going against the final boss, but alas, walks. if you recall what I said, I don't know, was it at the very start of the series or at some point later down the road, but before we can get to final boss, I need to do a hell of a lot of cleaning up. AKA, all the missions, or at least mission types, I did not show yet, so <laughs> that is going to take a while. Oops! <laughs> and here, just sitting. Myself up on the, the clean up mission, so. <coughs> oh, well. Oh. And Sunday, just as a spin dash to collection. Uh -huh. 
I, I don't know if you know this trick, but yeah. But in the collection room, if you press select and hold it, it well, you're in there, you go into a hidden room. Oh. oh, I gotta try that out when I start the cleanup recording, but yeah, well, cleanup is going to take a while, so. And that's the end of this episode, but yeah, you may have to wait a l even been a little while longer for the next Sonic Generation episode, so just so you know. Mm hmm. What? Anywho, that concludes today's episode of Sonic Generations Co Commentary with Bird Squalla Crew. So, this is Dr. Cherry Pond. And Shank Zero Two. And, well, actually, since you started this one, how about you send us off as well? And we shall see you in the next part. See us all later.